How you doing? It's Ryan with 10 City 5. We're looking at North Hilton Fire Department's new 2023 Chevy Tahoe. A couple things that you'll notice off the bat. New graphics package. This will be the third vehicle that we built for them over the years. And the graphics package is something new that we designed for them to match up to their existing paint scheme and graphic scheme of their fleet. Second you'll notice, we'll have a two-toned Tahoe. So we've got a black over white that we painted. The vehicle was stripped down. We did all the holes for the light bar and the antennas before it went to paint. Painted the roof black, brought it back, and you can see it looks fantastic. Their apparatus have a black over white scheme. So it looks real good with the graphics tying into everything. The vehicle has Sound Off Signals Blueprint. This is gonna be their first Sound Off car. We have the M-Power light bar up top in dual color. Tri-color M-Powers in the grill. Tri-color M-Powers for the fog light area. Headlight flasher currently on park. M-Powers on the side fender. Tri-color M-Powers under the mirror. Now you're gonna get a good view of the graphics package. Printed Maltese, reflective. SL Runners dual color, white override flush mounted into the running board to give it a nice clean appearance. And power on the rear side fender. And then you can see the rest of the graphics with the tattered flag. Taking a look at the back, we've got eight M powers on the Chimzo bracket, amber arrow, white override for scene. We took the trim panel off, painted that black, um, did their graphics along the back side of it as our normal standard option of the uh, parking light flash, the reverse bulb upgrade with the blueprint flash, tri-color M-Powers on the rear license plate. Got a couple uh, hash marks for the Chevron in white reflective, and then we've got M-Powers on the rear bumper in white. Opening the hatch, done through the link module, shuts the lights off to not be warning up to the sky. M powers on the rear hatch. Six by three lights mounted to the rear hatch for scene. And then we've got our radio speakers mounted. One thing that you'll notice is we've got the speakers up here, um, the radios up front. We have their cabinet design that we modified to fit the 21 Tahoe. So we have a slide out gear area. Recess portable charger. This has an inverter charger with the Cosmo on the side. We've got our switches for our auxiliary lights. We've got a 12 volt USB and our 110 outlet. Got our file drawer. For their radio option, we have the radios actually built into the command drawer. So they've got both their radios on the side here. Um, what we did was we recessed the magnetic mics into the drawer so that way they give extra clearance so we didn't have to build the drawer height up so much to keep everything within the parameters. <clears throat> and then we've got our ratcheting magnetic command board. So what we were able to do when we designed this was um, improve on the designs. We've built drawers like this before and we found serviceability is a key with it. So we've started adding wire chains to the back of the drawers to help with future proofing the car, so that if they ever upgrade or need to change out a cable, they don't have to do too much work. There's a whole service area on the back of it, which works out really nicely to uh, install. Taking a look at the back of the cabinet, you can see we have our uh, electronic service access. So that gives them access to the energy chain to install wires or add wires mounted their flashlight up top. And then we have our electronic service area underneath. So this is our main distribution for our power. Our inverter system is back here, blueprint controller, and our aftershock siren amp. Taking a look at the front center console area, starting up top, our radio speakers mounted up to the headliner with our special brackets. Next up, we've got our whale and Argus controller on a nice pro clip bracket to not put any holes into the vehicle and gives them a nice secure mounting platform for it that's in a good location to be able to adjust the unit. We've got one of our plastic series consoles in here. Uh, we've got our radios with our blueprint controller. We've got our cell phone cup holder storage compartment with our three inch pocket. And then we've got our USB-A, USB-C pass-throughs, padded lift up armrest. Flashlight and portables mounted to the sign. Nice, sleek, clean appearance. 
Now we're looking at our drive response mode. Blueprint knows um, the position of the transmission, giving you different flash pattern choices based on that. So uh, automatically our white flash goes in park off along with a slower pattern to help reduce on scene distraction. So in response mode, we've got white flashing the light bar, more aggressive pattern, headlight flashers active, and then all of our body lights in the front and sides have white additional and they're all synchronized. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. If you'd like us to build a vehicle around your needs, we'd love to help you out with your next project.